Uh, so next up we have uh, uh, a bit of a, a turn from um, the fashion world. We'll be looking at Kuzu, which is doing some really interesting things with, uh, with cameras. So. so I'm begging the rules a little bit here. Um, I'm going to do a quick slide deck, but it's two minutes. I'm Drew with Kuzu. Uh, several weeks back, the world woke to the potential of ambient always on video. When a media was streaking across the sky in Russia, and it was captured by hundreds of cameras, and those views were shared with the world. And people started thinking, what if we could all share a view with the world? Further, what if we could all share a view live? What if you could see anywhere live? Well, it means you'd see everything from exploding <coughs> meteors that are really fantastic, down to things that are pretty mundane, but maybe really useful. There is a limitless latent demand to see what's happening in the world. For everything from exploding meteors, down the lines of barbecue joints, <laughs> and everything in between. But that's the big idea behind Kuzu. Like, how would this even be possible? And if it were possible, what would you like to see? Just think about it. It's kind of mind-boggling, actually. So here's the secret. Hundreds of millions of smartphones already distributed around the planet make it dead simple for everybody to share. You can either share by using the iPhone in your pocket, just broadcast a live view whenever you see something interesting. Or better yet, take the old smartphone you've got in your sock drawer. How many of you have one in your sock drawer or in your closet? Okay, so take the old one that you've got, plug it into power, Wi-Fi, and we'll even give you a free Kuzu window mount. And you can broadcast a live 24-7 stream out your window to the rest of the Kuzu community and world. Here's how it works, it's really simple. You poke the eyeball and you're broadcasting. You actually become a green pin on the map instantaneously. Download the Kuzu app and you'll get to see this right now. Search for what you want, tap an orange pin and you'll see recently recorded content, tap a green pin, and instantly you are watching a live scene. We're gonna see that in a second on the device itself from that exact location on the planet. Because Kuzu is inherently a social utility, it's easy to share with all your friends. Piece of cake. So uh, this is actually a little out of date. We presented this at South by Southwest uh, a couple weeks ago. We're one of the finalists, made it to the final round. Um, and uh, feedback's been amazing. We've soft launched in San Francisco. Uh, got picked up by actually national news, it was kind of weird, but apparently we've hit a nerve. Uh, and that's our team uh, right here. We've got some pretty amazing people uh, doing things from uh, building the world's most cutting edge uh, computer vision algorithms to getting heads of state elected in Nigeria. Really diverse team. Okay, so uh, real quick, the demo gods will be compliant. We'll see. I've actually never done this before in my life. I don't know if this thing actually projects. We'll, we'll find out together. Uh, there we go. Okay, so this is it. This is San Francisco right now. Uh, and you can have this by downloading Kuzu. These are all live views. Every green pin represents a live view. Um, I'll pick a couple of my favorites out so you can see some things that I like to look at. This is the front door of our office, so I can always see uh, if my bike's there or if uh, somebody took it. Um, this, is, uh, this is the Caltrain uh, station and King Street. So this is everybody coming up from the south. That's the traffic on the left-hand side. Those are all the cars on the right that are heading down to the 280. So I get to take a peek and realize, do I want to go now or not? not. Um, here's the corner of Haight and Ashbury. So if you want to uh, go pick up whatever you want to pick up, it's the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, can, you can check in before you head over there. You know, or maybe something, uh, something a little more uh, uh, benign. Uh, you can grab ice cream at the awesome ice cream shop here at uh, Patricia's Green in Hayes Valley and check out the awesome scene there during the day. Um, Lots of other stuff here. I'll let you poke around, but you can see things like the America's Cup here, uh, the Ferry Building. That was the live scene that you just saw. It's really awesome when the bay lights go up, and I'm probably at about five minutes now. Yeah, can you pull up the live feed or from here? That's the live feed? Or uh, from my phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. OK, awesome. So here, we're, we're, so we should be brought. Thank you for doing that. So uh, let's, see. let's see. I've been broadcasting you all. So. It's not my favorite. So you're alive. <laughs> there it is. There's your green, green pen. Booyah! Booyah! <laughs>
it's not moving, but it should fly. Fly by a little yeah. quick here. But, you know. That's it. Cool. Very, very cool. Great. Thanks, Joe. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many active users do you have, and uh, on a given moment, on average, how many live streaming happens? Uh, so. Sure. The question was, uh, how many active users do we have, and on any, on, uh, on average, how much live streaming, streaming minutes? So we've only geofenced this to the Bay Area and Austin, uh, and we actually wouldn't have launched yet except we had to for South by Southwest. Uh, so we've limited the number of people who can participate right now. I think the daily active users were somewhere around four or five hundred. Uh, stream uh, numbers, I can't give you. I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> Are you using a third-party backend for the transcoding, streaming, and CDN, or did you build your own? Uh, so we're not doing any CDN yet. Um, we have a contract with Limelight that we'll flip over at some point, uh, but that's not necessary. We're using uh, off-the-shelf components for the streaming server, but highly, highly uh, customized. Wowza, I guess you're curious. Um, have you done bandwidth calculations, sort of projections? Yes, we will use Basically all of it. <laughs> I love it. Business model, please. Uh, the other slide deck, the uh, the five the five minute one. Uh, there are four basic things that we're pursuing. One is advertising, uh, and uh, second is content syndication. Something interesting happens, like the meteor. Then we have rights, joint rights with the owner of the or the broadcaster, and we'll actually do rev share back to them. So put up your camera, it's a lottery ticket. You might make a lot of money. Um, third is uh, premium features. So you'll be able to do things like recording, uh, computer vision alerts that will tell you when a UPS truck drove by and that kind of stuff. And finally, the, uh, the really interesting thing is the data analysis component. So that's, e everything is signal. Everything you're seeing on a camera is signal. It's, it's signal to somebody who wants to buy it, and we're gonna make that market. Sir, please. Are you prepared to meet any legal challenge? Because it's very invasive. I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> the, the question was, uh, are you prepared for any legal challenges? Um, so we actually have an advisory board built up of uh, world-leading experts at the intersection of computer vision and uh, public policy. So uh, Facebook's uh, former director of public policy, who prepared Zuckerberg for Congress and all of those things, is on our board. Uh, also, the head of computer vision at Berkeley is on our board. Uh, so we have, uh, we're, it's, there are a lot of things that come up. You're, you're right. There are a lot of questions that come up. Uh, so we are handling those one on uh, one by one as they come up. Great question, sir. Does the source of the video have to be a smartphone? Are you also able to uh, integrate uh, traditional webcams? Uh, we can. We want the uh, the initial quality for users to be high, and so that high quality is if you can download an app and poke an eyeball, then you can be a broadcasting node. So we make it dead simple. Uh, connecting webcams and other like diverse types of sources are it's it's easy for us it's harder for people you know everybody else in the world um, so we will ingest anything and everything in the future we also want good metadata so when you have a smartphone a smartphone is a it's packed with sensors so we have GPS and Wi-Fi triangulation we've got accelerometer that we can do some interesting things with to make sure that the curation is really good um, there are things about a smartphone it's not a webcam it's, a, it's much better than a webcam that's, oh, that's one. So you were using Verizon's, because so could you speak to that sort of flash crowd thing? So you know, the giant stadium, they try to make a simple voice call, and everybody else in the stadium is doing the same thing. The network can't handle that, because there's too many people both ways. So this could tank your network. Have you had a discussion with the, the providers about how, how they want to work with you, Doc? Uh, so yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a bandwidth question, right? So it's like, there are all kinds of things that can tank. You know, people want to do a bunch of, you know, FaceTiming or, or whatever, that'll tank you too. So I, it's not unique to us. Uh, 2013, I think, is a breakout year for video for a whole bunch of reasons. 4G is here. Devices can really handle it. Uh, so we're going to just be one of those things that is out there that contributes to the awesomeness and the mess. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks.